Hello everyone. Today we are going to rejig our project a bit um, and you can see here that I've added the other fields from our customer table into this form now um, and I've added in the code to also insert these fields into the database there um, and I have also added them there into the validation sections. Um, you can see here that each of my new fields has also got the event procedures included there and I've shuffled my button up a little bit there. So hopefully um, you now know how to add these things in um, because it's stuff that we've covered already um, but if I have not explained any of it well enough um, or that you're struggling to do that please do add a comment and let me know that and so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a main form and use this one um, as like an add customer pop-up form and um, so we've actually got some quite useful code um, stored in this form already like the form load um, and the reset and all of these validation um, steps for the text boxes um, because I'm going to use those text boxes again in the main form um, so the easiest way to keep all of that is just to basically copy this form and paste it back into the project um, so we're just going to call this now form main So that's just created there. We can see now that it looks the same. So let's just change it. We'll make it a bit bigger. Um, let's drag that down to the bottom. And then I think let's add a tab structure in here. Wrong one. Let's just drag that there. Um, resize it. Make it look pretty. <laughs> Um, and so I'll show you what this is going to look like in a second. Let's just add a third page. Um, so I'm basically going to have three tabs here on this main form. Um, and the first one I think let's have as custom details. So I was going to rename that over here in the properties. And I'm going to call this one details. And the next one there, so to change the tabs you just click the tops up here and then each one has got its own properties over here. Um, so this one I'm going to call contacts and the next one I'm going to call notes. Um, you've also got the option here to like change the indexing on them and like the tab structure and you can move them around and things like that but I've created them in the order that I want them there so um, and then what I'm going to do is just make that a bit bigger and then I'm just going to cut this and paste it into the customer details section so you can see there that it's not in the other tabs it's within the details one and so to do that you need to make sure you click into the um, like the center of the box there um, and let's do the same for this, so let's cut and paste it into there and now we can resize it all again now. So let's just shimmy that up there um, a little bit and then this button will change that there. Actually let's make this a nice save button so let's we're going to change this to save. Let's remove the caption of add um, and let's add a picture to it. Um, let's go with save. I'm sure there's one that's like this. Yes, there we go. Save. Let's have that. There we go. It's looking nice and funky now. <laughs> and then let's just resize that again. There. There we go. That's looking nice, isn't it? Happy days. Um, okay, so what I think we're going to do next is I will show you how to add a command button in here which will open up our add customer form. Um, 
So I'll just show you now that that looks like there. We can see that these tabs are currently blank um, and then our details tab just has these. Because I think what I'm going to do with it is um, we'll get some buttons where we can like search for the customer and then load the customer into here and then edit the details in here and press save. Um, and then I think that we'll put like a list box in here where we can show like customer orders um, and then we'll be able to add like contacts where like maybe the customer's called the company or, or um, and then like notes and things like that. Um, so that's where we're going with this um, in case you wanted some idea. And let's move that up to be in line because it didn't look tidy there, did it? Right, that is it. Um, yeah, so next time we'll do the uh, command button to open up the add customer form so that we can add new customers and then we'll edit them and other things. Um, so if you found this tutorial useful, please do like it and subscribe to our channel. Uh, and feel free to add any comments below and let me know if there's anything in particular that you want me to show you. Thank you for watching.